to do to beat Generation Good morning, everyone. Hey, did somebody eat all of my favorite cereal? But I could have sworn there was still some cereal left for you after your sister had some. Kira, Kira, Kira. I'm sorry, Alec, but could you have something else from the table? Yeah, sure. I'll just go grab something from the cabinet. No, no, no. You don't need to do that. Um, come on. I'm in high school now. Don't you think I can make myself a bowl of cereal? Listen. I've been doing this my entire marriage, plus since you were born. It's what brings me joy, so back off. The kitchen is my domain. All right, fine. Sometimes you just shouldn't touch. She will realize what time to set the world's changes. I just want her to realize that I've got my short shorts and I slept my thighs together. It sounds like a whale. Okay? Listen, Alec. No one wants it to sound more like a whale than I do, but the change needs to be overcome. You've got to be more patient and let things run their own course. Of course, I forgot about your secret. I'll be patient, but you don't have to hide it. Be yourself. Oh, no, I am not letting that side of me out. Because I will be put on trial. I will go to jail. People like me have diseases. They're sick. So drop it. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you're like normal, man. There's like no more money back in my money wrong with you. You're just like chilling. Alec, drop it now. I said that's enough. But, Alec, fine. Good morning, Davis Sam. Are you ready for another day? Alec, it's your first day at high school. I have a surprise for you. Really? What is it? Is it a new guitar? Oh, thank you, Dad. What? Oh no, you need to get rid of that silly dream of music. Because you're a young adult now. Anyway, that brings me back to what I was saying, you becoming a fine adult. So, I got you a gun a few months ago. I was thinking this weekend, we could head over to the shooting range and shoot. Then, in a couple months, we will go on a good father and son hunting trip. What do you think of that? I want to make one thing very clear. I do not like guns. I do not want to go on this hunting trip with you. Guns kill people. They kill people every single day. And then you use them like toys. What is this? Soviet Russia? Guns are evil. I do not like guns one single bit. Dad, 
I'm living in an oppressive household where I'm not allowed to express my ideas. And then you try to, you try to get me to go on a hunting trip with you to kill innocent animals. Guns kill innocent people. Sure, they can be used in the war, you know, to protect against other countries, other people trying to attack us, trying to harm our families and our ideals. But when a gun comes into my household, into my family, and my dad says, oh, it's okay. We're just going to kill some animals. It's not okay. Dad, this isn't Soviet Russia. <sighs> this is pathetic. No, I do not want to go on a hunting trip with you. No. Okay, listen, son. First, you're sounding like a complete liberal trash pile right now. Second, I have a gun because it gives me power and inserts my status as a manly man. And that's what I bring to your mom in bed every night. All right, sweetie? Mm-hmm. And it relaxes me, and I, it's my goddamn given right. Okay, well, uh, that's enough for me. I don't need to hear what you do in your bedroom, John, so I'm gonna eat the rest of my breakfast outside. No, Dad. It's not over. Because I'm going into music whether you like it or not. I'm my own person, and I'm passionate about music. It makes me feel things that I, can, I can't feel any other way. And you're trying to trample me down. You're telling me that how I feel isn't, isn't close to as important as how you feel. And that's just stupid. I'm my own person. I'm my own person, Dad. So stop trying to crush my spirit. And, and Uncle Owen is right. There is a little girl here, and you shouldn't be tainting your ears with talk of the bedroom, talk of sex, with your big penis. Nobody cares, Dad. Not one person. So just let me have my passion, and don't try to force your terrible, Republican, conservative ways on me, because that's not who I am, Dad. Oh. It's just not who I am. It's a new generation. Hey, get back here! I'm not done with you yet. Oh, yeah. So how is your guys' summers? I didn't ask you that earlier. I summer went okay. Me and my dad went down to Mexico. And uh, let's just say the Perkins family can get any girl he wants. From my good looks and my hair, I can also get any girl I want. That was a pretty good time. You are so full of yourself. Yeah, I'm a girl. I've lived with my whole life, and I haven't fallen under your spot. That's because you're one of my closest friends. I wouldn't have wanted you to fall under a spell. But this is a new school filled with new girls. If you want, I'll go and demonstrate for you right now. Hey there, I'm out. Hello, my name is Jessica. Alright, I was thinking maybe me, you, Friday, we could go catch a movie. That's sounds amazing. Alright, let me walk you to your next class. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Unbelievable. He is so awesome. He is the master of the heart. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, that takes some skill. The dude is like, just like, a hot, blast in the pants, just fiery, you know, he's a free spirit, you know? And I love him, I love him very much. Whatever, man. Amanda, can you help me, please? Yeah, sure, I mean, I'll, let's head to class together. Later, guys. Hey, wait, you're still coming to the junkyard after school, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Oh no. What? Here comes Billy Waters and his cronies. Oh. My brother said that he's the toughest kid in school, and he does whatever he wants and gets away with it too, because whenever the teachers are around, he acts all innocent and charming, but in reality, he's a big old bully, so you gotta stay clear of him. There he is. Here he comes, down the hallway. Man, I'm scared. Shh, just hang on, just hang on. Run, Jimmy. What's your name, boy? Jimmy. You new here? Yes. Well, I'm your principal. Nice to meet you. Sucker like punch! Oh! <laughs> Jimmy, right? Yeah? I hate you. I hate everything about you. I think you're scum. I want to make your life the worst life that anyone has ever had. I'm going to start today by giving you a swirly.
Come with me. Come with me. Um, so... Yeah, we should probably steer clear of that guy. I mean, as long as we stay one step ahead of him, we'll be alright. I mean, he's... He's strong, but, you know, we're smart, so... Yeah, we're, we're smart. I think right. we'll be okay. We should probably get the second period. Yeah, let's go. It's nice. So, Alec, I forgot to ask you, man. How was your summer? You know, my summer was just disappointing. Aside from hanging out with you guys and making music, I just spent time with my dad. He's so repressed, and he doesn't experience life to the fullest. It's just sad. You know, we went on vacation, though, to Virginia. It was so boring, and everyone there is so Republican, and they don't have open minds to anything. It's disappointing. Dude, yeah, I know what you mean. All the adults in this town, and pretty much most places in the United States, just, they're so full of themselves, you know? Yeah. Guess what my dad said about my music? What? He said that it was a silly dream. <sighs> that... Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how someone can live that way, where everything is too too extreme for them. It's just incredible. Incredibly stupid. Parents can be so cold and firm. I feel for you, Alec. My parents are so rock solid and stubborn about everything, and every time I get in a fight with them, my dad sends me to my room, and he tells me that if I ever want to have a husband, that I have to listen to everything that he says and that my place is right by his side. Parents are so frustrating sometimes. They are. They really are. You know, I enjoy my dad. He's relaxed on some rules. He he knows how to understand me and knows the kind of person that I am. But when I'm starting to get out of line, he'll put his foot down and he'll make those rules firm. You know, make me understand those rules. You know? But the thing that's killing me here is the curfew. <laughs> we can't be out past dark. That moment the sun sets, we have to be home. And anything later, then we're screwed. You'll know what I'm talking about. Exactly. I was telling you earlier, man. I, the other night, I was walking home a minute past dark. And the police picked me up, arrest me, and put me in jail. My dad had to come and pick me up from jail. Let me tell you, there was hell to pay when I got home. Trust me. I just want to get out of this town. And, and that's what we're going to do, man. As soon as I can, I'm just going to get out of this little ignorant town, and I'm going to go somewhere open-minded that can see my visions and can understand me. So I'm going to try to go somewhere like California, the Berkeley College of Music, Dude. where I can be inspired. You know? I can follow my dreams, my passions, right? Berkeley's the place to be. Berkeley's different. Berkeley's that blue state that we've always been talking about. It's where we can be ourselves, where we can express ourselves, where people will actually support us with our passions. And it's the home of the entertainment industry, Los Angeles, California. Yep. That's where we need to be. You know, I think that we can change things. I honestly think that we can be the generation to make America and the world a more open-minded place. You know? Yeah. Like, our music and our art can create peace and happiness in the world. Right? Right. We got to stand up to all this oppression. And we've got to change this world for the better. Yeah. You know what? We're going to be the generation that changes things for the better. We're the beat generation. Me and your uncle really enjoyed penetrating you. <laughs>